Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. Today I am starting one new series, Redux in React.js. So in this series, I am going to cover all the topics in the separate video. So finally, we can see one Redux's video with this Redux pattern concept. Okay. So now let's see what are the topics I am going to cover in this video. And the first one is what is Redux and why the Redux pattern is used in React.js and Redux libraries, finally the concept of Redux pattern, okay? So first we can let's start with what is Redux. So Redux is an open source JavaScript library for state management. In other words, it is the predictable state container for JavaScript application. Here I'm telling JavaScript application instead of React, that means the Redux is not only for the React application, it can be used for any JavaScript application such as Angular, Vue.js and even the plain JavaScript application also we can use this Redux pattern. And let's break down this definition, okay? Predictable state container. So the state container, that means it stores the state of our application and this predictable means all state transitions are possible to keep track of them. So that's what we have mentioned as the predictable state container of the application. Okay. So next we can see why Redux is used in React application. Okay. If you are familiar with the React application, so in this React we can have a number of components. Each and every component have their own state. Okay. Then additionally, the Redux is way required. So the reason is, so it is the small application, then it is fine. Like a three to four components. Okay. So just to consider the scenario, you have the application. It is having around 50 plus components and you, you have lot of states. So that data need to be transferred into different components. Okay. So in this scenario, the Redux is very helpful. So let me show one diagram. It will give the clear cut idea. So just to consider, this is our app component. Okay. So in this app component, I'm having two components A and B. And in this A component, I'm having two components C and D. And in this C component, I'm having this E and F components. So this is kind of a tree structure. Okay. So currently I'm having one state variable in our E component. Okay. So this data I need to transfer into our D component. What is the possibility? So first I have to lift the values into our C component. Then again, I have to lift into our A component. So finally using this props option, I can transfer the data into our D component. Okay. So this is the normal way. And again, the next requirement is the same data. I have to transfer into our I component. Then see the scenario. Then I have to lift into C, then I have to lift into A, then app component. So finally, I have to pass into B, H, then only it is reaching this I, okay? So that means I'm having the data in one component. I just need to transfer into another component. But meanwhile, I am using around five to six components in between I am using. So this is really hard, okay? So in this complex scenario, the Redux is very much helpful. Okay. So let me tell you the concept of Redux. So basically it is having one common store. Okay. So in this store only, we are storing all of our state information in the single object. If there is any data change or else in the state change, the value should be reflected in our store. Okay. The same state I am consuming in different components or else I am just subscribing. So the components are D and I. Okay. And if there is any change in our state, the value should be reflected all of the subscribed components. See. Just to see the scenario, so instead of transferring same data into different components and finally achieving the destination, so instead of that, we are having one common store. As of now, I just consumed in two components, the same thing we can consume for n number of components also. So that's what Redux playing the important role, okay? 
So I hope you got some better idea about the Redux usage. Even if you are not at clear, the upcoming videos will give some clear cut of idea. Okay. Okay. Next, let me move on the Redux libraries. So the first one library is Redux. So for installing this one, we have to use the command of npm install Redux. So it is the state management library. Otherwise, I can say it is the core library. Okay. And another one library, React Redux. Okay. So React Redux, it is the official UI binding library for React. So this is only used for the React application. So basically it is reacting as the bridge between React and also the Redux. Okay. For installing this package, you have to use this command npm install React Redux. Okay. So now we are almost end of this video. So now our next video, I'm going to create one React application. So there we can install these packages and we can start the concepts one by one as of now if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching